I shall want to begin this lesson by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, and Havashah, Waha, Rakah, Kodash, which in the ancient Hebrew tongue would be the correct names of the Heavenly Father, His beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. I also would like to give double honors to my teachers, the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much due honors and respect to the sensei brethren out there that is also laboring in his work. And as always, I want to say shalom to the believers, you know, the Akim as well as the Akwath, which will be you brothers along with the sisters that subscribe to this truth as well. So yeah, this sitting right here is going to be somewhat of a more in-depth look, if you will, into something me and the brothers briefly touched on last night during the live class, and that's concerning the fact that each and every one of us individually who have been called into this hearing where we was actually chosen, <laughs> you know, and appointed to a certain lot to occupy, whether that's believing, you know, or ultimately teaching his word. You didn't choose that profession. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh chose you and pretty much fashioned and designed you in such a way to where first and foremost, when you heard this word, you was intrigued, you know, and ultimately you believed. And Lord willing, you will continue, you know. But this was all the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh It was not of our own strength. The Lord calls you to return to him. See? Now what I wanted to do was start off right here in the book of Psalms, the 65th chapter, in the fourth verse. It says, blessed is the man whom thou choosest. See? Blessed is the man whom thou choosest. And you have this rallying cry, you know, amongst Christianity. And when I say Christianity, I mean in the modern sense of the word, where the idea is, you know, Today, I gave my life over <laughs> to God as if you doing a favor here, man. No, it was Yahweh Bashem Yahweh who chose you, you know, to uh, occupy whatever lot, you know, a uh, non believer and believer alike. You got to understand the Lord is a great king, and a great king doesn't compromise, man. He doesn't settle. So the Lord chose those who he counted worthy to serve him. See, again, blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causes, see, and causes to approach unto thee that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, which is this truth, even of thy holy temple, see? But again, the scriptures say, blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causes <laughs> to approach, see? Now, real quick, when you go into this word, causes, In the Hebrew word, that would be karab. Now, what I did was stroll down here to the Strong's definitions. And one of the words that jumped out was produce. Produce. Let's click on this word, produce. It says produce, make or manufacture from components or raw materials. It says cause a particular result or situation to happen or come into existence. See? Cause a particular result or situation <laughs> to happen or come into existence. See? So the Lord produced, you know, whatever scenario that led you into this arena, man. See that? And that gives more credence to the idea of the Lord being the ultimate director and the drama that's being played out in the form of life and existence on this stage, which is the planet Earth was actually manipulated by a high power, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, the Lord fashioned your steps, you know? Which when you go into that word fashion in the Greek, it literally means to control one's destiny. Matter of fact, let me grab something else real quick before we continue. Right here in the book of Matthew, the sixth chapter, in the 13th verse. And these are the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and actually an excerpt, if you will, from the Lord's Prayer. And it says, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And the key word there would be lead, proving that there's a higher power out there that guides you and leads you. And that power would be Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, who actually controls your destiny. Again, it says, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Or let it be so. So again, each and every one of us individuals who was called to occupy whatever lot given where we was chosen. <laughs> and that idea has proven to be somewhat of a challenge, especially amongst those of you out there who claim to build your foundation off the scriptures. When we present the idea of predestination, you stumble at that. And mainly because you subscribe to having your own will. When that's not the case, everything is destiny, man. From those who will be destroyed to those who will be delivered alike. They was all chosen to fulfill that role, you know? Which the idea of anything being chosen actually goes back to predestination. Which brings me right here to the book of Ephesians, the first chapter, and starting at the third verse, it says, Blessed be the power and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in HaMashiach, according as he have chosen, see, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Yeah, meaning before the earth was even brought about, the Lord chose the elect. There was particular spirits that was predestined to see the salvation of our Lord Yahweh Shai, even before the foundation of the world. And not just the elect, you know, all the characters, if you will, in this drama. <laughs> the villain, Esau, you know, uh, the other nations. They was all chosen, they was predestined to fulfill a, a particular role before the foundation of the world, before the earth was even brought about. And it's the same with the director. Usually he cast his characters before he go on location and shoot whatever scene. The script is already written and the characters is already chose to play whatever role. See, again, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined, see, having predestined us into the adoption of children by Yahweh Shah HaMashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, meaning this was uh, the intents and purposes and plans of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, even when you consider America, man, this was a thought of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. <laughs> See? This was a particular scene in this movie, if you will, in these theatrics, where the Lord would bring forth his judgment and in that event deliver, you know, his elect, man, from that destruction. See? But it was all predestined. Now, again, you see where the word predestined is in the same breath with chosen. Now, real quick, what I want to do is click on this word chosen. Strong's G, 1586. Eklegamai. Eklegamai. Thayer's lexicon. Eklego. Eklego. Yeah, and that would be the pronunciation in the Greek for that word chosen. Now, when you go into this word, it says to pick out, choose, to pick or choose out for oneself. Choosing one out of many, i.e. Yahweh Shah choosing his disciples. And that's another thing to consider. You know, it was nothing the disciples did. It was not of their own strength that they was joined to our Lord Yahweh Shah. He actually chose them. See? But what I wanted to spotlight is right here where it says, choosing one for an office. <laughs> choosing one for an office. Now, when you go into this word, office, one of the similar words here would be roll. See that? Roll. It says the function assumed or part played, see, or part played by a person or thing in a particular situation. <laughs> see that? And that pretty much sums up, you know, uh, um, the, the very idea of life and existence itself, man. You know? And what's the moral of the story here? This actually contributes to the comfort of the scriptures, man. We're comforted by knowing that everything is out of our hand. We have no strength. We have no uh, say-so in the matter. You know? It was all predestined. 
and this uh, pretty much compels you to, you know, lay your troubles at the foot of your how about some how shot. Put your trust in the Heavenly Father through His Son. See that? And again, this is one of the luxuries that come with, you know, uh, being called into this ministry and being exposed to the proper knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Scriptures and the idea of predestination and the fact that every individual here on the planet Earth was actually chosen to fulfill whatever respective role. You know, even down to scenarios, it was all predestined, man. See that? And again, that idea is far beyond the strength and comprehension of many. But for those amongst you out there who have made Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai your refuge by trusting in this doctrine when presented in its purest form, well, guess what? You have the luxury, the comfort of understanding predestination and the fact that the mere fact that you hear, the mere fact that you believe, you was intrigued in his word, you believe, and Lord willing, you continue, was all based upon the fact that the Lord chose you to occupy that particular lot. So yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. Lord willing, it was edifying to the next time I say shalom. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say of these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? The kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in the field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away.